Thank you very much, everyone, once again, for joining us here for this pre-match press conference ahead of Pakistan versus South Africa at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Tomorrow, we're joined by David Miller of South Africa, who will be taking questions in this press conference. Um, firstly, in the room, um, and I'd kindly request to see a show of hands, and then we will switch over to questions on Zoom. So can we start at that side of the room, please? How's it, David? Um, you guys are finding different ways to win, um, and... You know, something Wayne Parnell said after the Perth game that that Quinton de Kock had said to him that if Wayne Parnell bats a lot, then then the kind of proper batters aren't doing their jobs. Um, can you can you talk us through that kind of philosophy? Yeah, I suppose. Uh, I mean, we we are finding lots of ways to win. Uh, we've done it over a period of time now. I'd say probably the last year. Um, you know, we found ourselves in tricky situations and managed to get over the line. So, I think the continuity of the squad uh, over time. Guys have managed to um, to sort of find find their roles and sort of um, you know if one guy's not doing well another guy sort of picks up the slack so um, yeah it's it's difficult to be successful um, in this format uh, as there's a lot of different kind of variables but uh, we've we've managed to do well as and play as a, as a team so I suppose um, yeah if the batters are doing their job then the all rounders and bowlers are not. Uh, we don't we don't really need them to to bat so but obviously training uh the guys are really putting in the hard work um you know the tail end the uh, all-rounders as well because going into competitions like this we will need one or two games uh, we might need them so yeah definitely putting in the yards and just um on your last game what is the, you know you kind of had a, it wasn't wasn't easy even though the total was fairly low that you were chasing what's it, what's it like to have to fight quite hard for that you know and would yeah, I mean it. It was uh, it was e extra bounce, um, and it was nipping around. The guys were bowling uh, extremely well. Um, you know, credit to our bowling attack uh, for restricting to to what what the total was. Um, and yeah, as a as a batting unit, you know, uh, like I said, we've uh, you know we were three down there. Um, it, it happens in cricket, and uh, that's where we need to pick up the slack uh, as middle order. So we managed to. Get a really good partnership, Aiden and myself, and uh, I suppose just, you know, the whole cliche is just, you know, one ball at a time and just trying to stay in the moment as as, as much as possible. Um, it was difficult, so it was just manage managing to try and think your way through it, and and you know, if it's difficult for me and Aiden, it's going to be more difficult for you know the guys coming in. So it was just a matter of sort of uh, weathering the storm. Um, fortunately, we weren't chasing huge totals, so we, you know. The, the run rate got a little bit higher, um, and then we we managed to to get it back with one over, uh, one big over. So that was always the thinking, um, and it worked out. So yeah, pretty chuffed. Um, how much confidence does it give you as a team looking at that pace attack you're able to put on the park, and that you have Marco in reserve if you want another tall, quick bowler? Just does that breed a sense of confidence in the whole squad? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, especially being in Australia with the conditions that we've we, we've got here. Um, you know, our pace attack has has done uh, great things over the years, and um, you know, we've managed to, um, like I said, for the last year, we've we've the squads sort of come into their own. Uh, especially as a bowling unit, the guys are bowling with great uh, you know energy, a lot of pace, and it's what we need here in Australia. So it is nice to have someone like Marco sitting on the on the bench. Uh, and and having him in the uh, you know on the as reserve, um, I mean it's a it's a healthy environment to have. Um, so yeah, I think the guys are in a good space. And again, just one game at a time and trying to sort of stick to the process um, and stay in the moment. And if I can just ask, um, it's actually about a guy who's not here, but I don't know if you caught the highlights of Deval Bevis's 160 or 50 odd balls the other day. I mean, just how good is he, and how good can he be? Yeah, I mean to do that uh, in any format uh, or any um, you know level of cricket is is something special. So he definitely um, has shown what he what he's capable of. Um, he's a huge talent, and we all know that um, he is still very young. So um, you know, putting performances like that uh, back in back at home is what he's what is needed. Um, and I don't think it's going to be long until we see him. Uh, playing for for South Africa, but uh, yeah, there's still still a lot to do, and uh, very excited to see what uh, what what he's sort of capable of uh, in the years to come. 
Hi, David. Uh, tomorrow it's a vital match for you also and Pakistan also. You are in good position. You are leading on the points table. But comparatively, Pakistan bowling, spin bowling is better than India. So how do you rate tomorrow? Uh, it could be some problem for you, uh, for your batting when the Pakistani spinners yeah, I think, um, you know, we've managed to play um, quite a lot against India and the Indian conditions. Uh, we went to Pakistan not long ago um, and, you know, I think we've competed really well and uh, over a period of two years, uh, we've really been focusing as a, a batting squad on, on playing spin. Um, the guys have definitely prepared really well and have a lot of different options. So, um, yeah, I think it's it's something that uh, we, we're well aware of. Um, and I think uh, the guys have definitely got the, the skills to, uh, to perform against uh, the spinners, uh, the, the Pakistan spinning team. So, yeah, I think the guys uh, are definitely up for it. Um, you know, we, um, we're taking one game at, at, at a time and we are in a great position on the table, but uh, there's still a lot to do. So we, we're definitely up for tomorrow and, and looking forward to, to what sort of uh, to brings. I mean, also the, the conditions tomorrow might not spin. Um, if they do spin, like I said, we've got the options. So I think the guys are in a good space. Uh, hi, David. Um, how do you see uh, Pakistan as an overall opponent and does their position uh, a must-win game for them make them more, more dangerous? Definitely. Uh, I mean, it's, uh, we all know that every game in the World Cup is an important game. Um, and Pakistan are always uh, a team... You know, you've you've got to you've got to make sure that you're on your A game uh, as an opponent. So, um, just making sure that we sticking to our processes and what has worked in the past uh, to you know to implementing it tomorrow. Um, like I said, Pakistan are a great team and they've uh, got some serious match winners. Um, but yeah, we just got to take it as it comes and uh, and definitely the boys are up for it. Um, and then I suppose Pakistan, you know, it's a must-win game for them. So they're going to be coming and charging, and uh, we, we definitely prepare for it. Uh, Pakistan has mostly uh, landed on the uh, uh, opening pair of Babar Azam and Rizwan, but they haven't been able to score big runs recently. So do you think this gives uh, the opponent that you, this gives you an edge over Pakistan as the players they have been relying on are not able to score much runs? I think it is an area to to exploit. Uh, you know, it, it, this game is all about confidence. Um, and, yeah, I mean, they haven't... Uh, probably perform the way they wanted to, but they're world-class players, and uh, you know we we're expecting them to come out and and bring their A game and and be up for the challenge. So um, it's by by all means not uh, just going in there and expecting to get them out uh, first ball or early up. Uh, you know we've got to work really hard for uh, for every wicket, um, and hopefully we can uh, get them early up uh, and put uh, the Pakistan middle order under pressure. Um, you know, a little bit earlier than, than later. Okay, I don't think we've got any more questions in the room, but we do have some hands on Zoom. So can we go to Umesh, please, your question, please, quickly. Okay, no Umesh, so Wahid, please. Okay, no, Rana, you return. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, let's. Sorry. Let's go back to Umesh. My bad. No, thank you. I'm sorry. Actually, oh, so David, my question is that uh, when I played, I played a brilliant knock against India. So when you will be eyeing your next match against Pakistan? So it's a quite a bit lot of dependence on today's result of India versus Bangladesh. So as you already think that Pakistan have not more nothing, not that much to lose. So what would be your prime target against Pakistan? To top the table or just to take ahead? What, and one more question. Can we expect NGD on the Sydney way? And answer one by one. Thank you. Did you catch that? Um, briefly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can, you, can you repeat the question very quickly, Umesh, for us? Okay, we'll have to move on, sorry. We, I've, I can see Ongama, you've got a question, please. Can I ask you to um, 
Wie ist der Jus? Um, hi, hi, David. This is Ongama from Cricket Fanatics Magazine. Um, you, you've been very successful over the past 12, 18 months in T20 Cricket, White Ball Cricket, actually. Um, you've been just like, in, in amazing form. Even on Sunday, in, in, a, in a game situation where a lot of guys would, would choke and, and, and wouldn't necessarily be as confident as you have been, what would you put that down to, David? Um, we see a lot of maturity. Would you, would you say that it's, it's, you are in that point in your career where you really, really understand your, your own potential? For you to be performing like that in those types of pressure situations, what would you put that down to? The success and everything. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I mean, it has been a good ride the last year, year and a half. Um, for me personally, I just uh, just trying to draw back on past experiences. Um, you know, I, th I feel like experience is a is a is a really uh, valuable thing. Um, and for example, on. The previous game, uh, we were in a little bit of trouble, uh, a lot of pressure to, you know, to to win the game, obviously, um, and it's just about slowing the process down, understanding what is what is required right now. Um, you know, I feel like in the past maybe could have got a little bit uh, hasty. Uh, you know, I really struggled up front, um, whereas Aiden was playing, you know, really, really well. Um, so there was a lot of dot balls and you know you can get a bit edgy and try and just you know counter attack as such um so i just try to slow myself down and 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 realize that you know if i get through this period um the, the partnership is way more important than than me just uh you know going out and giving my wicket away so uh it did help that aiden was going really really well um and then you know picked up one boundary and you know the momentum kind of swings your way so it's just trying to weather the storm um i feel like i've been in a lot of different situations in my career um and it's about making sure that you're really in the moment and what's required um is probably the the most important um execution then becomes another thing but uh you know fortunately there was a couple opportunities that they missed um and you know that that's part of the game so it obviously helps us out hugely but um yeah just trying to slow things down and and draw back on past experiences okay that concludes this morning's press press conference thanks very much david for joining us and thanks for those online and in the room here in sydney thank you